I'm a back-end developer in Truplist since 2009 and started specializing in uh, winter 2010 Last major burnout was in 2016, and my last major case of imposter syndrome was yesterday when I was updating this talk. So, why am I here? Well, I want to help promote better mental health. It's too important. I dislike seeing people suffer and leave our community. And by that, I don't just mean the global community, I mean developments, or I mean the, sort of the, the, the technical uh, community as well. I came up with these tips and tricks uh, when I was last suffering from burnout. And I wanted to share them with people because there is too much burnout, there is too much imposter syndrome in our community. Please note, I am not a medical professional. Your mileage may well vary um, through, uh, with these tips and tricks. And also, some of them are uh, mutually exclusive. And uh, by that I mean they may well help your burnout, but they would not necessarily help your uh, imposter syndrome, or vice versa. So what can I help you with and what can't I help you with? Well, these tips and tricks are designed to kickstart the recovery of burnout and hopefully prevention of future relapses. I say recovery in air quotes because I don't believe you can fully um, I don't believe you can fully cure imposter syndrome or burnout. Um, I believe you can only recover and prevent further relapses because if you're prone to burning out or throwing yourself into something or prone to feeling like an imposter, you're not necessarily going to ever change like that. It may well be part of your nature. <clears throat> what I can't help you with, well can't solve all of your problems. Um, some of them may be deep-rooted um, in something that, that you've experienced before and need professional help with, rather, as in talking therapies, rather than necessarily something that I can help show. You've also got to want to help yourself in the same way as a recovering alcoholic has to, be wanted, has to want to help themselves or a recovering addict to some description. Um, some of this advice will not work for you because it requires you to be in a good place. Uh, for example, uh, by spoiler alerts, I talk about wanting to go to events. If you don't want to leave your house, that's not going to necessarily work for you. So what did I try? I tried therapy. Hypnotherapy, cognitive behaviour therapy, etc. I've tried putting myself out there, which, which in most cases is by public speaking. I met my drupal heroes and mentors. I tried meditation. Um, I tried buying stuff and uh, other first world uh, problems. Uh, other, other first world stuff, which I'm driving. Tried sticking my head in the sand. I found a new hobby. I tried starting up old ones again. What works? Well, therapy did help us help both of them. Putting myself out there has helped with my burnout, but it wasn't so great for my imposter syndrome. Meeting my group of heroes and realizing they're human, that helped massively with my imposter syndrome. My new hobby helped with my burnout. But getting the imposter syndrome for that. And attending events such as DrupalCon. That's brilliant for me, for Bernard. I get so infused by it all. But it's not great for my imposter syndrome. I tried changing job. Um, my contract ended and uh, wasn't renewed. Uh, so I uh, took advantage of being able to sort of look around and try other things within technology. I'm not suggesting that you quit your job. Um, but if the opportunity arises, Take a look around and see what else is potentially available within something that you feel you can uh, provide for yourself and your family. And I explored me more about that than that. I also looked at rest days and mental health days. It helped massively with my burnout. What didn't work? Well, meditation didn't work for me. 
Your mileage may vary, but it's really difficult to me. Buying stuff and sticking your head in the sand? Yeah, I would hope it's self-explanatory why those didn't work, but they didn't. <clears throat> so, a bit more details about what worked. Therapies worked really, really well. I tried multiple types, um, including cognitive behavioral therapy, more traditional counseling, um, and uh, I also found that sort of, I also found the therapy which has worked particularly well for me. It isn't a case of like you're on, say, the Bond Can Show and uh, going to end up doing all sorts of things for entertainment. The idea behind it is similar to that of cognitive behavioral therapy in terms of it's trying to rewire the brain to think differently about certain problems. Um, but the idea behind hypnotherapy is you throw away the unwanted thoughts or the um, negative thoughts uh, that, that you're experiencing. And therefore it is different to other talking therapies. It's privately funded. This is the biggest problem uh, with hypnotherapy. I'm lucky enough to be able to afford it. Other talking therapies may be available on the NHS when you are or whatever health service you have in uh, other countries, um, but they do tend to be fairly limited, and this tends to be self-funded. It allowed me to see the wood for the trees or work out which problems I needed to, to resolve first, because certainly when I started this in the midst of, towards the end of my last burnout, I was in a position where I wasn't even sure what the problems were. It is very slow going. I'm three and a half years in as of this month. Um, I'm still going, but I'm nearly there. And hopefully, with, hopefully by the summer I'll be uh, down to a sort of a maintenance uh, level of uh, attending therapy sessions. What also worked? Well, putting myself out there, doing public speaking, that worked really well for me but it's probably the most difficult to do from an imposter syndrome perspective. It's helped more with my burnout because it's allowed me to focus on different things, even though they're within the same sphere of influence in this case group. I've attended events like groups called Dublin, I've spoken at local user groups with of varying sizes, Drupal camps, Drupal Europe, Drupal Amsterdam, um, and uh, regional, uh, regional groups as well. <clears throat> I've got future plans with this as well. I'm not planning on stopping. Uh, I plan on keep, um, showing up at more camps, potentially in Spanish or uh, French, which I speak for a reasonable standard. Um, I was intending to submit to Drupal Camp Spain this year, but due to Corona, I'm postponing that for next year. Um, future plans include presenting today via Zoom. Um, I find that putting myself out there really, really helps um, that I have to do it to point of discomfort for it to work with my burnout. So the idea is I would have to try and present to a bigger and bigger audience. Um, that helps me. Um, but I think that is just part of the way that I am. It may not help for you. Give it a go with a smaller audience first, if, that, if you decide to try this, and work your way up. Um, I found a new hobby. Um, I decided to use of going to the weightlifting and general fitness, because that was also going to help my health problems. I started weightlifting April last year. And I went from struggling to lift the 20 kilo barbell to regularly deadlifting over 100 kilos and I'm aiming to do, um, lift twice my body weight by the end of the year. It helped my CF as well as my mental health. My lung function was around 38%. It's now topping out at about 55, which is great because lung function going the other way, i up that it's going down, is unusual in cystic fibrosis. It's taught me to love the gym, um, but it wasn't easy. Burnout has kind of happened 
imposter syndrome would definitely happen. Um, and it's also part of, uh, part of sort of searching for fitness. I also tried running. I ran part run in June last year, for my, just before my 36th birthday. Uh, it isn't for me though. Um, I mention this as much because it can show that you do have to try, you do have to search uh, to find the right thing for you. Also again, non drupal heroes. They're mostly people with cystic fibrosis, admittedly, but it's given me non drupal heroes, which has helped me because it's shown that other people in other spheres have the possible symptoms as well. And also, it's given me some new ideas to, to do with that. Um, rest days or mental health days, it was a concept introduced to me through fitness. Uh, training schedules often include one or two day breaks. Um, where you, the idea is you have uh, sort of lighter, day, lighter rest days or uh, full rest days. I thought I'd do it for my mental health as well. So I have light and full rest days. A light mental health rest day might be one where I just don't do any work, but continue uh, sort of a more normal day. And a full rest day, I would either just stay in bed all day or uh, what watching Netflix or whatever, or uh, sit on the sofa and uh, do very, very little. It was validated to me at least by uh, Forrest uh, Friesen van Zanten, apologies to Forrest if I butchered that. Um, he's CEO and co founder of The Next Web, but he mentioned in his uh, Truth Con Amsterdam keynote. Uh, that he frequently spends sort of a week or so in bed letting the, the, the demons get to him, as it were, um, because that really, really helps him. And, and it's a similar kind of thing to what I do, maybe not taking it to quite as long a term, but... <coughs> Meeting my mentor and the heroes. People say, don't meet the heroes. I say different because Working with people such as these, we've got Stella, Mark, Anthony, and Nick from myself. <coughs> Working with people such as these helps me because I can learn from them, I can see how to work with support teams, I can see to work differently in terms of back end developments, I can work I can see how to work with front end teams. I can learn things from that. I saw that they were human. And I saw that they had it too. You know, they, they frequently have lost syndrome, particularly Mark. Mark has taught me more about front end than I need to know, but I did want to know it. He inspired me to contribute to core. And um, at last check, I've got seven, maybe eight commits to core, mostly thanks to him. Rebuilt my confidence massively when he asked me to help mentor him in back end work. And he frequently refers our Grand Tech staff to me, helping me realise that I do know things, which helps certainly beat the side of imposter syndrome that says, I can't do this, nobody will listen. I've seen people go away and implement things that I've suggested and they won't. Non Drupal heroes. They're mostly CF people, but they're still heroes to me. I can't meet these people in real life um, because bugs pass from people with CF to CF very, very easily. It does have an effect on my mental health, but thankfully it hasn't had an effect uh, towards my sort of burnout and imposter side of things. People like Ben Munch, Sophie Grace Holmes, Josh Reynolds Jones, they may not mean anything to anyone outside of the cystic fibrosis world, but it shows that. It helps show this other side of me that I've developed um, exists, and it's how many people burn out by seeing other people do things, give me new techniques, give me new ideas to try. As I've said, it isn't about showing people, showing you guys what, you know, people I find inspirational. It shows that there are other people out there they have imposter syndrome, they have tips and tricks to use. The ideas, some of these ideas surrounding rest days have taken from them. Um, validated by this podcast with Josh Hart, 
um, and also sort of Sophie Gretto, again through podcasts and videos on Instagram. The idea of, of rest days, the idea of training schedules, etc. It helps validate that my tips work for me because I've taken the same tips, same ideas, what that I've used to beat my burnout and imposter syndrome with Drupal and development. Um, but they worked in the fitness world for me as well. So, a bit of self validation, but hopefully it will show that where they'll work, they can work for you. In the same way as I've highlighted one particular person I work with, Mark, this is Deb. He's a Thor Rocker Library, so he was a lot more of a Thor Rocker Library, he had long hair. <coughs> He's my PT, he has cystic fibrosis, and a constant source of inspiration to myself and others. The Thor Rocker Library came about with something called Thor's Day, where he dresses up as Thor and does his. Um, does various parts of his treatment dressed as Thor to try and encourage young children with CF to do their best, and also not just as if I wrote it. He's won multiple awards, <coughs> can't meet him, but I'd, I'd really like to, uh, and he's encouraging me with my lifting and general fitness, which is helping everything for me. Uh, it's also helping me help others too, because tips he's given to me, I've been able to pass on to others, and again, seeing them implemented helps me think, oh, maybe I do know something about this lifting arc. So moving on to what didn't work. Well, meditation didn't work for me, mindfulness, etc. My mind just doesn't seem to work that way. I thought more about how do I fix line 71? Where's that semitone on the left lift? Please don't think I'm against meditation and mindfulness. I'm not. I have seen them work for an awful lot of people. Um, it's just my mind is not quiet enough or it's not in the right place, maybe, at the moment. Um, it was suggested that I tried mindful yoga. Um, I'm going to give this a try during the social distancing that I'm almost certainly going to have to do over the next few weeks. I would hope that buying stuff is self-explanatory as to why it doesn't work, but just in case. It lets more fear and debt from needing to work more to work out how I was going to pay that debt back. It's fairly widely discredited as a method of coping. Um, <clears throat> but if it works for you, then great. I just don't think it should be, uh, you know, tried. Ignoring it, please, just don't. It should be fairly self-explanatory that ignoring it will make matters worse and could lead to potentially other mental health difficulties such as depression. Um, find someone you can talk to. It doesn't necessarily have to be a therapist. It doesn't necessarily have to be professional health. It could be a mentor at work. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. But find somebody that you feel you can talk to. Ignoring it is not a solution to anything. Things that have worked for other people that have been suggested to me, or I've not mentioned for very specific reasons. Mindful of yoga. I'm going to give this a try. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there um, showing things, showing how to do some mindful yoga. Um, it's just something I've not yet got around to try. I was going to go to classes um, the, at my local gym, but things have uh, got in the way. Improving your sleep and sleep hygiene. Now, I haven't mentioned sleep too much, mostly because, for me at least, my health problems get in the way, and I don't have good sleep hygiene uh, because I do keep waking up, etc. Um, but yeah, certainly it's known that sort of sleep, and I've experienced it as well, a good night's sleep can solve an awful lot of problems. Things can look an awful lot better after a good night's sleep. So, better sleep hygiene, regular bedtime, regular get up time, not sleeping until midday, one o'clock, when you went to bed at sort of 9, 10 p.m. at night, the previous night, 
should have for the last. Dietary adjustments and having a, a more quote unquote healthy diet, cutting out uh, large amounts of additional sugar, etc. My diet is very specific for my cystic fibrosis, therefore I don't tend to mention this too much. However, I have started eating better, eating more whole foods, etc. I wouldn't say I've gone down the sort of a clean eating route. Um, I still love a good fryer. Um, I've certainly not gone down the sort of the, the plant-based route as of yet, although I am cutting out um, as much meat uh, from a cream perspective. And I feel a lot better for it, but I still have to have four-ish thousand calories a day. That is slowly decreasing as my health improves, but 4,000 calories a day is not a particularly sustainable diet for most people. Talking to someone that isn't a therapist. Now, I've not really tried this in as much as I've got my therapist at the moment, but I am looking around to find people that, that I can talk to in a different manner. Um, you know, sort of talking to my friends more, etc. So hopefully as things move on and this time next year, for example, I will have a support network which is not necessarily a therapist and see the therapists occasionally with my heart. I've never going to be able to completely escape um, support through therapy, mostly because of my physical health problems. I'm always looking for other ideas, partly to help give, uh, help spread the word for more people, but also because it may help me, it may help me further. I may find that silver bullet that whilst it may not cure my imposter syndrome or it may not stop me burning out ever, may adjust my routine so much that they become minor niggles. So where do we go from here? What, what ideas can we have? How can we continue this conversation? Well, I want to produce ideas and have community and develop a discussion around all of this. I want, I've spoken to people um, at the Truth Association about what we can do as a community, what they can do in terms of promotion to try and help with the mental health side of things, um, and that those are hopefully ongoing. I've created a Slack channel, uh, Mental Health, um, because I can't do this alone, but also I am only one person I can only have so many ideas. Um, so I created it for a development area for health, um, mental health tips and tricks, burnout, imposter syndrome, etc. There is also a uh, well-being channel on there, which may be more appropriate. It depends on yourself. Um, obviously, uh, any volunteers in the channel, in any channel on Slack, will know volunteers, but not necessarily professional lawyers or professional health person, medical trained personnel. Um, so it will be volunteer, your mileage will vary. But I'm hoping that if we can have some sort of central location that we can discuss these things, it'd be great. I'm looking at putting pages up on uh, groups.google.org so as we can have ideas of these are locations that you can go to in, say, the UK, or have Irish people give ideas for to Ireland, French people from France, etc. Because just because the Samaritans, for example, exist in the UK, doesn't mean that the French version is called Samaritans. Speaking of charities, there's, uh, it is a WordPress-based charity, but they are designing to focus on mental health within the tech community called WP and Up. Um, I'm looking at what they're doing, and I'm going to reach out to them and sort of say, look, we're the true community, we haven't got anything like this. Can we help you guys? Um, can we sort of look at helping the community in ways you help the WordPress community? There is also the Open Source Mental Health Initiative or Open Source Mental Illness, um, which are a charity that uh, works towards helping mental illness in an open source manner. <coughs> so here's some links. Um, I am sharing this 
our presentation on GitHub, so you will be able to get hold of the links. Don't worry too much if you can't copy them down. WPNUP.org, the Open Source Mental Health Initiative. And there's also imposter syndrome.com. Now, this has gone down in the last couple of days. Um, I'm hoping it will come back because there was some very nice information on that about different tricks um, for uh, imposter syndrome. Uh, it's run by an American who has had a lot of experience with imposter syndrome from the professional level. Um, so, yeah, it, it looked like it was a very, very good resource, but as I say, it kind of went down in the last few days, so hopefully it comes back. <coughs> so, we now need to sort of get to the sort of the trying experimental stage in terms of what can help you as individuals. Um, so, for example, the experimenting I mentioned that I sort of explored myself, that was partly the idea behind trying to help the fitness, what do I like, what don't I like, trying various new hobbies, what you know, did I like the hobby, did I like drawing even though I can't draw stick men, do I like listening to music, do I like reading, etc. Um, looking at this more from a sort of a hobby perspective rather than necessarily looking at it from a uh, perspective of, well, I don't know how to read, doesn't mean I enjoy it, or I know how to draw, I can draw a pencil, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be good at it. And I don't just mean there, from an imposter syndrome perspective, I, it is a case of I have no or very little artistic talent from a drawing perspective. My artistic talent lies elsewhere. <coughs> so, um, on to the part that is probably going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, to do over Zoom, but questions, suggestions. Um, I'm not too sure how we can do this, uh, but we do sort of have 10, maybe 15 minutes that uh, we can try and stimulate some discussion over this. Um, I'll just finish the last couple of slides and then we'll give it a try. Um, so, contact. If you want to contact me to uh, look at all of this and, and speak about it further, keep the conversation going. Here's various details for me. Again, presentation will be shared online. Um, so don't worry too much if you can't uh, get these links down. Um, I'm relatively easy to find online if you search C for Thorny. Um, you can also search David Thorne and just ignore the military general and the Australian who uh, is a, a, a communist territorialist. And finally, just remember this little gem. If you ever feel useless, someone invented a protective cover for the Nokia 3310. Okay, so um, I'm going to suggest we now look at trying to do uh, questions and answers. I'm not sure how best to do that. Um, so, yeah, I think we uh, just sort of go from here and sort of say um, if people have questions and uh, if it was sort of John could uh, repeat them into the microphone, um, and I will do the best to answer them. Any questions? Comments? Anything? No? Okay, so, well, um, in that case, thanks very much. Please feel free to, uh, to reach out. Um, and, uh, yeah, but hopefully we can uh, take this conversation further and we can look towards uh, helping other people's uh, burnout and imposter syndrome.